This is the Sabbath School lesson for the third quarter, 2020. Lesson 2 for July 4 to 10, ready for teaching on July 11. Winsome Witnesses, the Power of Personal Testimony. Read by Dr. Percy Harold. Friday, July 10. The essence of the Christian life is a relationship with Jesus that is so rich and full that we long to share it. As important as correct doctrine is, it cannot substitute for a life transformed by grace and changed by love. Ellen White makes it plain when she states in the Acts of the Apostles, page 31, the Saviour knew that no argument, however logical, would melt hard hearts or break through the crust of worldliness and selfishness. He knew that his disciples must receive the heavenly endowment, that the gospel would be effective only as it was proclaimed by hearts made warm and lips made eloquent by a living knowledge of him who is the way, the truth and the life. In the book Desire of Ages, she adds this powerful thought on page 826. The wonderful love of Christ will melt and subdue hearts when the mere reiteration of doctrines would accomplish nothing. End of quote. There are those who have the idea that giving their personal testimony is about trying to convince others of the truths they have discovered in the Word of God. Although it is important at the appropriate time to share the truths of God's Word, our personal testimony has much more to do with the freedom from guilt, the peace, the mercy, the forgiveness, and the strength, hope, and joy we have found in the gift of eternal life Jesus so freely offers. And that brings us to our four discussion questions for this week. 1. Why do you think your personal testimony is so important in influencing others? How have the testimonies of others impacted you and your own experience? 2. In class, talk about your answer to Wednesday's final question. Why is a daily experience with the Lord so important, not just to our witness, but to our own personal faith as well? 3. Of course, a powerful testimony can be an effective witness. At the same time, why is a godly life such an important part of our witness? 4. Share your personal testimony with the class. Remember that you are sharing what Christ has done for you and what he means to you. What difference does Jesus make in your life? Inside Story Our mission story this week is titled Reviving an Ohio Church, and it's by Andrew McChesney of Adventist Mission. Financial planner Vince Wan credits the Holy Spirit and a pipe organ for transforming a declining church of 15 people into a vibrant congregation of about 85 in three years in the United States state of Ohio. The miracle started when Vince preached at various small churches, including at the Hamilton Seventh-day Adventist Church, where he had worshipped as a child. Attendance had really fallen off, Vince said. There was no one to play the piano. My wife sang special music with a CD. One evening, his wife Darla returned from a bridal shower at the Hamilton Church and announced that the church pastor was leaving. You could be their pastor, she said jokingly. For the next two weeks, Vince couldn't forget the church. He awoke at night with his wife's words ringing in his ears. You could be the pastor. Finally, Vince volunteered to assist the Hamilton Church for six months. The next thing he knew, the Hamilton Church's six board members told him that they had been praying for him to be their lay pastor. Those prayers had gone on for the two weeks that I had been waking up in the middle of the night, Vince said. It was definitely the Holy Spirit working. In the new role, Vince invited a retired professional organist, Jerry Taylor, to assist as music director. One day, Jerry excitedly called Vince to say an upscale retirement community in Cincinnati was selling a pipe organ for $75,000. We can't afford that, Vince said. Even $5,000 would be too much. Let's go look at it anyway, Jerry said. 
The retirement community's chaplain was fascinated to hear about the Hamilton Church. He excused himself for a moment and, returning, said, I spoke with the director just now. We have been looking for a church to donate this pipe organ to. The only requirement is to open the doors to the community. The Hamilton Church received the pipe organ for free. The miracles continued. Construction workers remodelled the sanctuary for the pipe organ at cost. Engineers helped the church, whose cistern-drawn water was undrinkable, connect to the city water supply. Christians from many denominations joined the church's new choir. A thrilling moment came when two women walked into the church on a Sabbath morning and announced that they wanted to keep the biblical Sabbath after studying the Bible on their own. One woman and her husband were later baptised. The pipe organ, however, appears to be the main instrument that God has used to attract people to church, said Vince Wan, 65. We are just drawing in the people, he said. And there's a photo of him here with part of the organ. Hi there. Thanks for watching this video on the Advent Band Ministries YouTube channel. Please subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon to be alerted whenever we upload new videos. So, until we meet him in the clouds, may God continue to bless you. This lesson was read by Dr. Percy Harold for Christian Services for the Blind and Hearing Impaired, Christian Record Services for the Blind, the Sabbath School Department, and Hope Channel. You can also listen on the official Sabbath School 4 app and the Apple iTunes app, Sabbath School with Percy Harold. Remember, God is always faithful.